Not only did I just spend two weeks with a pro hockey team in France, I lived with them. See, this is my buddy Cody from university. When I landed into Strasbourg, we immediately started catching up with one another and I eventually got to my home for the next few days, his couch. Then I moved out and moved right back in with his teammates, Drayson Pears and Brandon Eagle. France as a country is known as a nation with iconic moments in sporting history. In fact, with the country hosting the Olympics later this year, it's only a matter of time before we witness more history. History. But what is life like living in this country as an import athlete, playing a sport that may not be the first that comes to mind when people think of France? You're about to find out. Good morning from Strasbourg. We got in late last night. It is day one here now. We've got to head in because the guys got a little bit of a workout before practice. And then they have like a another rink over there that's just it's just ice and they have like a, a speaker system and okay. it's like for like just like for people to go skate on top. Oh, nice. But they have like practice on it once in a while. Uh, that's the one we just hang hung uh, last weekend his a thousandth game. Oh yeah, your coach yeah. thousand games. Yeah, yeah. He's the, what'd you say he was the he's longest? He's the longest coach for one organization, thirty four years. Yeah, and that's like worldwide. Like that's yeah, worldwide. Yeah. Like any sport too, not just hockey. That's wild. Yeah. yeah. Just think how hard a thousand game regular season games. When you're only playing like 40 as well too. 40, but no, in ours it's 28. 28. But he's like in Magnus. He was there in Magnus for a bit. It okay. was for uh, 44. But still, that's all hard. <laughs> <laughs> So when we force them to dump, quand on les force à dumper, it's already a good job. Okay, so, because we are good at breakouts and we have to remain good. Okay, if they're gonna dump the puck, they come with speed, we have to be good. But I prefer this, then they come in and control. You know, because we're not yanking up enough, they come in and control, then we'll have a hard time. But see, watch this. Now, our idea is they have to dump the puck. F1, to get a good job against the boards, they have to dump the puck. We're first on it, little reverse, out we go. Good job. Yeah, okay, put it again. Yeah, I remember that one. Now, what happened is this F3. Sometimes you're a forward, and that, like that, now you see they're coming at four. You get a cat. Okay, well, our, we, we got two guys down low. Uh, one guy tried to block the boards, it didn't work. The other one was hoping it would work. Look, yes, PLX and Ach took a gamble, it didn't work, so it has to back check. Now we have a four on three. Now F3 should have backed up and play like a defenseman. Joue comme un défenseur. Okay, be hard to beat. Because watch, I love the entry that they made. Okay, leur entrée. Donc, when you have a guy, when you have a winger coming here, slowing down and you're coming through the middle, of course, the D has to take care of him. And then a slow pass here, he's coming in. And that's exactly what they did. That's huge, you know, on the break, on the breakout. But, we could have protected if F3 would have skated backwards, like a defenseman, you know, like, but it was easy to beat on that one. So, France 2 is right below the country's top professional league, League Magnus. Teams will play 26 games in their regular season, but additionally, they'll play in a tournament style for the French Cup. Win and move on, lose your out. This is where they would even go up and compete against teams from the Magnus League. How we're going to start is the normal power play, the one in the yellow and the black. You're going to play five against four, two times, 47, 40 seconds. I think the crazy thing is with sport is you truly never know what other people are doing. Daniel Bordage, the head coach of this group, is originally from Canada, but started coaching here in 1990, which means for the last 34 years, he's been at the helm of the program, making Daniel one of the longest serving head coaches for a pro team in the world right now. Okay, so the guys are just finishing up practice right behind me, and I wanted to show you this, what Cody was talking about earlier. It's the second part of the rink, so this is all connected. 
And they've got music and a bunch of things going so they can have like community skates out here. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool that the community has this here. And it's all like, you can kind of see it's connected right through. So the Zamboni can just like drive on this little middle part to get to the rest of it. Now, here's the classic sign of an off day tomorrow because after practice, we collectively got together to head out to a local bar and enjoy each other's company. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is because they don't have as many games, it actually allows for a lot of downtime. So on our second day in Strasbourg, it was an opportunity for Cody to show me around this beautiful city he now calls home. What? At the morning coffee? Yeah. <laughs> this is your go-to spot? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And this and the bakery. <laughs> bakery for a couple pastries? Yeah. Always the uh, croissant. <laughs> <laughs> Here we got. Try first. <laughs> <laughs> Croissants. That's all you get in France, buddy. <laughs> uh, that one is the chocolate one. I'm giving you the one. Or do you want your? I'll try the olive one. Yeah. The olive yeah. One? Okay. There you go, buddy. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> That's pretty solid. Just so soft. <laughs> No flop. No flop. No flop. Hard as it. I gotta give it a 10 out of 10 because it's, it's my town. <laughs> Fair enough. I've had something like this before, but I can't put my finger on it. Good morning from the ice rink. It is Friday, so the day before a game. Same kind of schedule there now that guys are working out. I'm gonna grab a morning coffee and just kind of break down exactly what a week looks like so you kind of understand the whole process that leads up to game day. But first we gotta get caffeinated and then we'll break that down for you. Also, fun fact, their stadium's called the Iceberg. I don't know if you can see it there. So basically Monday and Tuesday, they start their day at around one o'clock. So they work out and then right after they're on the ice and they get off the ice at around like say five-ish. Wednesday's an off day. Thursday and Friday, they start in the morning at around 9 a.m. for the workout and then they get on the ice and they'll finish up around say noon. Obviously then playing some games on the weekend with the scattered French Cup game that kind of you know throws things for a loop a little bit because I know they get a lot of players here because of the university so the fact that like guys have a nice little bit of downtime to also study too or just you know even just relax and live their life it's fantastic just like this coffee already getting a hole in them does yours have holes yeah. oh ho, ho. You need to get a new stitching, holy. The Sherwood 5030 with the abs. <laughs> oh, not today. Where are you going, Georgie? Wrong way, bud. Oh, I got the hiccups. Hit the net. Oh, come on, put the... <laughs> right, it's not a shot. It doesn't count as a shot in the league. No, it does not count as a shot. <laughs> Throw it down. Throw it down. Oh, there it is. That corner. <laughs> oh, that doesn't count. Doesn't count. <laughs> This thing's a brand new stick and it's already the flexiest thing I've ever had in my life. Sure? Yeah, it's a noodle. <laughs> Absolutely. No, it just comes that way. Middle, middle bar. Yeah. Oh, that a boy, play. That a boy. Middle bar. Yeah, middle bar. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> It, but it's like the most disrespectful shot in the league. You, you hit middle bar and you're like, oh, come on, buddy. Like, you're better than that. <laughs> Top right. Oh, Arthur. No. Arm. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> you're on the camera, buddy. Don't, don't say anything too stupid now. 
<laughs> they won't. They won't be able to understand. Big French yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. nah, I taped it taped in the air, buddy. Just the neutral zone. Oh. No, I think it's full. I think it's three group. And they should pack like five on oh, maybe. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll go in the back of the line. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, with another practice in the books, the only proper thing to do is try more French pastries while in town. There you go, that was a, that was a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cute, eh? <laughs> so first thing is first, on a game day, we are up nice and early for the guys to get their workout in at the rink. Basically a mandatory wake up call, if you will. Whoa. <laughs> then we are heading out for a light snack before afternoon naps. Good yeah. <laughs> song. Yeah. song all mom. There you go, buddy. Pretty good sandwich, guys. Pretty good? Yeah, not bad. No, I didn't. And before you know it, it's time to play some hockey. I love it, buddy. <laughs> I believe. 
will ask you guys to make sure that in your preparation that I feel that I'm going to speak to it. Uh, make sure that when, when we start, you know, we're, we're ready. We are officially 15 minutes away from warm up. We've got a battle between first and second with top junior players in the lineup tonight, including actually on the other side a first round NHL draft pick. Looking forward to seeing how this one goes. Slay gold times. The team in Strasbourg is compiled of some great players. Captain Michael Duris was a staple in the Czech League for many years. Long-standing veteran of the team, Sebastian Trudeau, has been with the club for 10 seasons now. For any Canadians watching, the name may sound familiar because he had a fantastic QMJHL career ending with 95 points in his last season with the Titan. <laughs> I would have got the door for you with hands for you. Yeah, 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 I got you. <laughs> our speed, finish our hits, change well, change fast, like, you know, like a huge, strong rotation, all right? And box out, they like to go to the net, they have some big bodies, okay? So we're gonna have to box out, be, be courageous, all right? Block shots. Play hard game. So much. Be ready. All right, that's for first place. Look, let's go. Face off ready, eh, guys? Box out. Come on, guys. Good back. Let's go. Nothing lead for Strasbourg. The captain gets them on the board first. Unfortunately, they just conceded a penalty, so they are now on the penalty kill. But hey, one nothing lead early on. An unlucky deflection. The away team is up two goals to one here now. That's like three goals all within the span of like a minute and 30 seconds. Yeah. Oh. 
Alrighty, it is a tie game 2-2 two to two after the first period. We're gonna go try and find some souvenirs here now. A little bit of a delay, so I decided to grab some of their concessions. They got a pretzel here with some juice for three euros and 50 cents. What's cool is that you actually just buy the tickets and then go get your food, so the people handling your food don't touch any of the money. Perfect little snack if you ask me. Strasbourg scores again, they're up four to two now. Maybe the most unique thing from watching this team play is the fact that you get to watch players like Bruno Baldres and Alex up close and personal. Two athletes who when they're not playing for their club team are suiting up internationally for Spain and playing Olympic qualifier hockey games to try and bring their country to the Olympics for the very first time. Alex Strasbourg! Uh, 
it's time to beat them. So yeah. let's go, boys. Yeah. Good morning from Strasbourg. So as you can obviously tell from the reaction in the locker room last night, the guys got the big win, eight to four. They have a nice little VIP lounge set up after where the players can kind of just go and mingle and chill out and celebrate the big win. And now we are actually lucky enough to have a couple extra days in this city. So we're gonna show you what one of the cool things about having off days while being a pro hockey player in Europe really is like. Hey Cody, where are we to? Switzerland. <laughs> Basel. Try to make sure I send stuff to the girlfriend. <laughs> that is a pretty cool spot, eh? We're gonna get a pint review. <laughs> Give it a shot, let's see. Feldeschulz, I can't see it. Oh, no. Feldeschulz, I don't know. Don't call. <laughs> Good beer. Good beer. Sweet, sweet. I like, I like a sweet beer once in a while. Pretty. <laughs> Where? Actually not too bad, but that's right on the edge. <laughs> Go for a swim? <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> Why can't I think of the, uh, who that, where did he go? Oh, Slash, the guitar. He's going first. What? You go. Thing. You go, buddy. This is yours. You want this. <laughs> I know you do. All right, here. Let's set. Uh, it's already going. So you're the cameraman now. Always. I feel like... I don't feel like that's sturdy enough. Just dripping off there. Do a little... A little twirl. There you go. How hot do you think it is? Probably very hot. Everything you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> Can't even think of the words. <laughs> the Swiss dream, eh? <laughs> yeah. And it's quite perfect. It's a bit too chic. That looks so hot. It, it wasn't actually. It wasn't that hot. <laughs> Just good. That up a <laughs> I, I yeah, like cheese is just the best, man. Yeah, unreal. Overall Switzerland rating? Uh, clean city, so that, yeah, I give it a 9 out of 10 on that. People, extremely nice. Give it a 10 out of 10 on that. Uh, food, very good. 8 out of 10. I, I have other things I like. <laughs> The you, pigeons? Pigeon, pigeons were good. Pigeons were like, you know it's a good city. And they were like a 9 out of 10. Like they clean, red feet, all, all toes were intact. No little stumps. Um, views, good. Oh, this is like a 6.5 out of 10. Like, Ooh. Yeah, we're not really in the Alps like, of no, Switzerland. We're not, we're not in like Switzerland, Switzerland. And uh, yeah, that's kind of how it went for me today. How about you? 
So I feel like it averages out to like an 8.8 .8 for you, I think. I'm gonna go 8.4. Uh, probably, I was probably being a little too <laughs> I mean, I liked it. I wanted to cross another country off, so yeah. I got exactly what I, uh, what I needed. <laughs>